Hello there. So, uh, take you through the second part of the uh, 24 volt, 20 amp hour battery pack build so that you'll end up with some big long battery pack like this from lithium ion 18650 cells. So, in the last video, we put some solder on things and you saw them in about this state with blobs of solder on. So from there, sorry, get this one, I explained that I'd stack them this way and solder across to get them in series, so I had to fold it back up and it would be like this. So I'll show you the ones I've done and you can have a look at what it was I was talking about. So these, these have been paralleled up, but they've not been fixed in series yet. I don't know if I did the other end. Yeah, I did do the other end. So yeah, they're totally done. So I could, I could series those up now. Uh, it's a good idea to put a little bit of charge in each one of these blocks before you um, series them up, or series them up and then do each one individually. Don't. If you try and balance charge such a big pack like this on this little charger, it takes forever. So you better get in each one of these to around uh, maybe three volts or so. So you've got a little bit, you know, you're halfway, you're on your way. So you're not asking it to do too much in one go. But that's just because of the inadequacies of my charger, I think. So you've gone to this point, you've uh, you've took your packs, you've built with your glue gun, that look like this, or in single cells they wouldn't have had the tabs. And then you've paralleled them up, and they'll look like this. And then you series them up, and it looks like this. And if I take this, I'll show you. So when I say it, we're going to fold up like a concertina. I don't know if you've got a good view of that. Can you see that? So when I put my parallel leads in, uh, sorry, rather than my balance charger leads, I'm sorry. I come down this strap in here and I come one here and one here just so it's not feeding it from this end all the time this way there's another feed point here so that it's working between a couple of cells from each um, balance charge point if you will I mean I don't know if that's a faulty logic or not but I like the idea so I did it so they just fold up like that as you can see it's a bit precarious but as you push it down it takes into it takes on a bit a slightly better position and as you fix them all together and fasten them to something underneath like a piece of plastic or a piece of timber they start to get a little bit of rigidity become a bit more usable so that's how I series them up after I've paralleled them up so obviously the next pack to do will be this one so I'll just, that one's already paralleled up. Where's the other one gone? Where is he? Ah, there he is. Yeah, so I'll flip them that way. And they're ready to series up now. Um, just in case you couldn't get any of those alcohol prep pads. This stuff's pretty good. Extra refined lighter fluid. Oh, look at that. Three orange squares. That's how you know it works. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a little bit of that on a rag and wipe over. So I'll do that with both of these now. Just give them a clean off. And then I can uh, parallel these up. And all you do is you just keep going. So that one will be, uh, sorry, series, keep saying parallel. It'll be seriesed up on there. That one will be seriesed up on there. And then you flip that battery pack over and you repeat the feet and so on. And you keep going until you build up to the amount of packs that you want in your cell, in my case six, because that's the most I can have that my charger will deal with. So there we go, that's as easy as it gets to uh, explain it really. I will i don't want to take you through my building rest of it, so when I've got all six in line and I'm about to put my balance leads in, then I'll do another video on fixing the balance leads to it and sticking it to a piece of wood, although it's hardly rocket science, just a bit of glue gun and a bit of 
good look. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. She slowly uh, strikes on. Thanks to Rhino Super G for all his videos, especially his 18650 videos, which ultimately inspired all this. And, and thanks again to Raymond, uh, to uh, I think it's Raymond Earl, Richard Earl. Either way, uh, positive feedback. It's nice. I need it. I need ideas. I need a little bit of help, and I'm happy to give in return. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, till next time.